Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Aaron. I am photo retoucher and you can learn, make and create together with me. So today I'm going to show you how you can edit a beauty portrait step by step using my actions. So without any further ado, let's get started. And as you can see, this portrait needs to be clean. So for cleaning, we are going to use three different tools. Bottling brush tool, healing brush tool and patch tool. And we are going to click on the clean and black and white layer and click play on the action. As you can see, we have two different layers here. So one of them is a duplicated background renamed clean and one of them is a black and white help layer that helps us see some better details. And as you can see, for and after with a black and white help layer, it looks really nice for clean. So we are going to double click here and click on the res and see what happens. More details are in the picture. So click on the yellow too because we as humans, we have some red, some yellow colors in our skin as you can see it before and after it's looking really nice so we are going to click on the clean layer and start cleaning so i'm gonna start with spot healing brush tool and switch between these three different tools with j k and l i made them with shortcuts and for cleaning as i can tell you is the best part for the portrait because if you want to keep your portraits in social media as original as possible all you need to do is clean and dodge and burn and pose them so that's it but if you want to go deep in the retouch you have to follow uh, my step-by-step -step process of this video tutorial or some in the previous i made for my youtube channel if you want to get this raw file link is in the description uh, just go to my telegram channel and you will find this raw file for free also if you want to get my retouching actions uh, link is in the description and i have to mention that i am using vacuum tools pro s i'm not using a mouse if you want to get uh, serious into retouching i highly recommend you to get uh, one of the pen tablets because it will make your workflow go fast and i'm gonna speed up this process of cleaning And as you can see uh, before and after what we've done so far in the cleaning section, it's time for the frequency separation. So just click frequency separation plus click play. And for the right radius of this portrait, we have to slide the radius into the left and zoom in into the texture, for example, in the forehead and start sliding this into the right until the texture or the pores disappear, as you can see and i think that i'm gonna go with 12 something like that and i think that we are good to go click ok and go to the fs plus group click here and here we have the low frequency and the high frequency low frequency is the color and high frequency is the texture so we are going to work first in the low frequency and after we are done we are going to work in high frequency or the texture so I'll turn off the high frequency first because we will see some details better when they are blurry and in the low frequency we are going to use mixer brush and for the right settings of mixer brush wet by 10 percent load 45 mix 55 and flow by 33 zoom in and start mixing the skin tones just like this you can even turn on the black and red help layer to see some better details of what you are doing in the low frequency. All you have to do in the low frequency or in the color are the mixing skin tones. Let me just check a before and after. Now keep working with the mixer brush
and here we are a before and after of what you've done so far in the frequent separation i think it's looking really nice that we have mixed the skin tones and the portrait is looking amazing now that we are done with the low frequency or the color it's time for the high frequency or the texture but since we cleaned this portrait really nice at the beginning we don't have that much work in the low frequency so we are going to use clone stamp tool for cleaning in the high frequency or the texture so clone stamp, clone stamp tool sorry works this way you have to click alt keyboard and click here for, to copy the texture and paste it here so be careful that you don't want to copy the texture here and paste it here because it will create some bad texture of the portrait so you have to copy and paste the texture of the portrait as near as possible and as i said before uh, when you are cleaning in the portrait in the beginning uh, do the clean in that way that you don't have to work on the frequency pressure or in the texture as i am doing right now so take your time in your cleaning section and do your best and as you can see what we've done so far in the low frequency and in the high frequency this portrait has some high harsh texture so i'm gonna solve this just a little by creating another copy of high frequency and go to edit fill and choose 50 percent gray and click ok and as you can see now it's totally blurry because we have destroyed it all texture so click here on the mask and create a black mask and with a white brush and 100 percent opacity i'm just gonna paint over the skin by removing the texture only where we want so be careful don't do this in the eyes because we don't want to destroy texture in the eyes or in the lips all we want is the skin so be careful When we are done with this, as you can see before and after, let me just zoom in, it's gone. The old texture is gone. So we have to reduce this by, I guess, 35 maybe. Let me zoom in and check a before and after. And as you can see, the texture is just a little bit more soft. And I think that is looking okay because this portrait has some harsh texture. And we're going to put some digital skin texture click play and for copying this mask you have to click control and click here and make sure that white is under and click again control and delete keyboard and here we have the same layer mask and 100 of this layer or the skin texture is way too much so i'm just gonna go by 33 maybe zoom in into the texture and check a before and after i think it's looking okay now zoom out and check a before and after of the frequency separation and i think that is looking okay now that we are done with frequency separation it's time for a dodge and burn so we're gonna click here on dodge click play and click on the burn click play turn on the black and white player and start with the dodge so with a white brush and 10% opacity, I'm just gonna create some highlights in the forehead and on the cheeks, a little on the eyes, on the lips, and in the other parts of this portrait. Check a before and after of the dodge and I think that is looking okay. Now open the group of the dodge and here we have the desaturated layer. This one is for desaturating the colors and I think that we have to reduce this by 
20%. Now check a before and after all the dodge. And if you think that is way too much, just lower the opacity of this one and check again. And I think that this one is looking okay. Now click on the burn and again with a 10% opacity and white brush, just paint where we want to burn. Usually I burn around the forehead, uh, just a little on the cheeks, a little under the lips, on the side of the nose, just a little on the eyebrows and eyelashes too, and sometime in the makeup, because it will be looking really nice. Now check a before and after. What we've done so far, I think is okay. Just reduce by 90 maybe. I think is okay. Now check a before and after all this entire process. And if you think that is looking okay, you can proceed with the uh, color grade. Now we are going to click here on the background, drag and drop, hold shift keyboard, click here and group from layers, rename retouch. Now drag and drop retouch group, right click and merge group into one single layer. And as you can see a before and after of the entire process, I think is looking okay. Now click Ctrl and A to select all this window. Click Ctrl C for copy, go to file, new, create another one and Ctrl V for paste and click here, right click, merge layers into one. It's time for some color grades. So here we have the color grade white skin and I'm gonna check one by one until my until I find the best color grade for this portrait. So I'm gonna stick with A1 and after it's done just turn off this with the move tool drag and drop into the original file or in the original PSD. Now go again into the next one and I will find another color grade. So I'm gonna mix two color grades. And I think this one is looking okay. Now just turn off and drag and drop into the original file. Click here and here we have two color grades. And this one is looking absolutely ridiculous because it's way too much so we're gonna click on cg a1 and check all those layers one by one until i create something good and here we are after two color grades combined together now i'm gonna go to add some adjustments click here on the color balance and click on the highlights Click on the yellows and I think I'm going to put, put some red, sorry. Let me just check a before and after. This one is way too much. I'm just going to go by 20%. Now go again to the color balance. Click on the midtones and slide this until you find your best color grade. So I'm going to warm this portrait just a little more because I think it's the best for this one. Now click again into the color balance and click on the shadows. So for the shadows, I'm going to go just something like blue, something like green. Check it before and after. Now click here that says selective color. Go to the blacks and slide this into the left or the right and do some magic. But not click zero. Click here on the cyan and move these sliders right to the left until you find your best color grade. Now check a before and after. Reduce the opacity of this one. Now click here and click black and white. And from the blending mode that is normal, go to the luminosity and click here on the reds. Apply this into the left just a little. Click on the yellows, slide this un until we see some better colors of this portrait. And I think that 100% is way too much, I'll just go by 35. 
and check a before and after all this color grade and i'll click here and drag and drop hold shift keyboard click here and group from layers rename color grade now drag and drop to make another copy and right click merge the group here we have the color grade as a single layer and if you think it's okay just keep that one and if you think that is way too much just reduce the opacity of this one and check a before and after now put some face contouring click here and click play click stop as you can see before and after double click here and move the whites into the right just a little and mid tones and reduce this by 35 check a before and after zoom in we still have the texture so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because you can find the actions and the raw file and see you guys in the next one peace